Welcome to lesson four. We're, we're going to build the wing for the snapper. Uh, if you recall in the previous lesson we created the snapper frame with the general arrangements of uh, uh, tail moments, uh, nose moments, wing size, um, etc. What we'll do is zoom in with the track wheel and here is the frame for the wing. So we're always a good idea to copy when we're doing modifications. So we'll select that with the left button and copy and we'll just move over to the side here so we have some working area and we will paste. This is our finished wing again everything in TurboCAD is full size so this wing uh, we can check the measurements here real quickly uh, we'll go from here and we go from left side to the right side and sure enough it's 38 inches so everything is fine uh, with that what we do with the wing is we will uh, select tool. We're just going to build one half of the wing and then use the mirror command to make the second half. So let's select with the left button uh, one half of the wing, delete key. And we're just going to work on one half of the wing. And what we're going to do is <clears throat> fill this in with structure. Now before I do that, let me go ahead and copy this rib just to show you some things that can be done with the wing rib. Let me use the uh, zoom window for the rib and this is the uh, Clark Y rib. Uh, I've used it for years. It's a very common airfoil. There's a variety of places to get airfoils. There'll be a chapter at the end that will show how to use a curve tool to draw an airfoil. But what I'd like to point out now is that with TurboCAD it's pretty easy to change the shape of an airfoil. If we, with the left mouse button selected, we can change the shape of the um, wing just by pressing and holding but you notice when we do that we distort the shape let's go ahead and undo that very easy technique to change the uh, width of the of the rib but keep the same dimensions is to click with the left hand button hold down the shift key and you can see that it's proportional when you do it at this time uh, for different sizes and again we can go back to the uh, regular size so I'm gonna zoom out with the um, scroll wheel and let's start building the wing itself. I know from experience on the Yard Ace and other models that I've designed that for an electric powered airplane like this a pretty good uh, start for the wood sizes is 1 8 inch square balsa for the leading edge and for the wing spars. 1 half inch by 1 16th inch balsa for the trailing edge. Uh, the ribs are generally 1 16th inch balsa with 1 8th inch at the uh, ends for strength and at the root. And then we're going to build one uh, full depth 16th inch, 16th inch balsa spar just to demonstrate how we can do that with a few plywood braces, dihedral braces uh, to hold it all together. So let's go ahead and start, um, start with the wing. Let me go ahead and <clears throat> zoom to the wing itself. And this is the middle of the wing. We know the fuselage is two inches wide, so the first rib is going to be one inch in. And this is a great place to use in the line tool, the parallel command. Now notice with the um, status bar, it says define a line to make it parallel to in the lower left hand corner. So we're going to left click on this line and you can see how we have a parallel line. Now notice in the lower left hand corner, the offset, we want it to be exactly one inch. I simply press the tab key, type in one, enter, and now that line the first rib is exactly one inch from the end. Now we know from our previous calculations we're going to have four ribs uh, uh, four and a half inches apart to make it even. Again very easy to use a parallel tool here. We just click on this, move this, the offset, tab, 4.5, enter. Click again, tab to the offset, 4.5 inches, enter. And then one more time, put it about there, tab, 4.5, enter. Now we have all the ribs uh, located where they should be. Now let's do the uh, width of the balsa. Remember, the we'll select right here. At the very end, the middle, there is no rib. So let's select that and delete, just so that we can get rid of that. There's two from the earlier mirror command. This is the root rib. It goes in the wing saddle for strength one at one eighth of an inch ball. So we'll make it on this side because that's inside the fuselage. Again, left click the parallel tool, 
click on this rib and notice that in the offset window in the lower left hand corner it's a negative number because we're on this side positive is on the left negative is on the right that's fine tab negative one over eight one eighth inch uh, and there's our one eighth inch rib right there similarly for this rib on the next one in will be one sixteenth we click tab negative one sixteenth notice you don't have to have decimal points you can use fractions on it one of the great things at TurboCAD left click tab for the offset negative one sixteenth and then same for this one click tab to highlight the offset negative one sixteenth enter and we said that the um, end rib would be uh, one eighth inch for strength we'll click on that tab negative one eighth enter so there's our ribs right there the trailing edge uh, the leading edge rather is one eighth inch square balsa we'll go ahead and use a parallel tool click on this come down notice the offset is still negative we'll tab to highlight that negative one eighth enter and the trailing edge uh, I said uh, half inch uh, wide, one sixteenth inch balsa. So we'll click on this for another parallel tool. Notice it's a positive number, tab 0 0.5, enter. So there's our trailing edge right there. You can see the wings starting to take shape. Now, what we're going to do is uh, put in a um, one eighth inch, uh, one sixteenth inch full depth balsa spar. Let me just go ahead and use the uh, parallel command one more time and I'll just select this bottom line and let's put the 1 16th inch uh, full depth spar right about here just for planning purposes and I'll click there and we'll click one more time and uh, again we'll make it 1 16th inch wide tab 1 16th enter okay so that's what it looks like on the top view now before we draw the uh, spar itself, let's go ahead and clean up some of these intersections. Uh, you'll notice that the rib here goes over the trailing edge, so let me zoom in just a little bit on this, uh, on this portion of the drawing. So this is the rib, it goes over the trailing edge. We want to remove this line in here because the rib is covering up the trailing edge. Now the way we do that is with the trim, but notice if we select trim, it says here to find the cutting edge in the um, status bar. If we use this as a cutting edge and we left click on this, it's going to remove the entire line. I'll zoom out. We don't want to do that. So let's undo that command. The key insight to not have that happen is to use a split entity tool. So what we're going to do, again, I'm zooming in on this line right here, we're going to left click and that little X, we've now split it up into two portions when we now trim this is the cutting edge and we left click you can see that just that portion escape left click trim escape to get out of the uh, trim tool again and you can see how we have cleaned up that intersection now on the end here because it is the end we can just simply do that escape and let's um, do that one more time let me slide over here so you can see how we go from here to here again we're going to use a split entity to cause a break in the line there we just uh, click on the line that we want to split left click again the little X marks the spot once we go to trim the X will go away cutting edge with trim left click escape left click with the trim cutting edge left click to actually trim uh, F5 to clean up the artifacts and you get the idea how we can use that to clean up the drawing. I'll give you one more example with the uh, wing leading edge. Uh, again, let me zoom in on this portion right here. You can see these are where the ribs cross the leading edge. We want this line removed. Again, the same thing with the split entity. We left click to identify what we want to split, left click again, the little X, go to the trim, left click, trim, escape, left click to establish the cutting edge, left click again, escape, 
I'll zoom back out and you can see how uh, that is accomplished um, uh, with the leading edge right there. And finally for the full depth spar here, this will be continuous across the rib, so what we need to do is get rid of these lines right here. Same thing, and I'll just demonstrate one on this one. Uh, we set up the uh, split entity, and then we trim, uh, standard trim. We can do it twice here, escape, trim, on, below, left click, escape zoom out with a trim wheel and you can see how that is all cleaned up the way it looks and again we'll do it for the rest of the wing uh, once the uh, video is over but you get the idea how that occurs right there again let's just cl uh, clean up this one intersection right here we'll do a split entity on this rib and then uh, trim left click trim escape left click cutting edge left click trim escape and then we just do that for the rest of the wing. So what we want to do now is take the top view of this full depth of uh, balsa spar, and we're gonna actually draw it with the notches, and you'll see how we can use the construction lines and all that. So notice that I tried to select the wing rib. You heard the little tone because it thought that I was gonna trim something. Can't do that, so good catch with the computer, TurboCAD. Reselect that, left click, and we're just going to move the wing rib over here. Now, the 1 16th inch balsa spar is the full depth of the wing rib. And this is where it's very handy to use the construction lines. So we're going to use a horizontal construction line and just put one at the top of the rib and the other at the bottom. Escape to get out of that. So now the construction lines show us the width of the spar. We don't have to measure anything. And what we need to do now is construction lines to know where to put the notches. Again, very easy with a vertical construction line. And here's a handy tip. We're going to use the snap command, in this case the vertex, and we're going to snap right to the edge of this line for the uh, root rib. You can see the little uh, uh, squ uh, diamond square. Again, diamond square is looking for the vertex, and you can do that for the rest of the, um, the wing. We're just going to do the two edges right here. And what is going to happen is, with these construction lines, we're going to actually draw the, um, the spar with all the notches. We're going to put in one more line. Again, we have to turn the snaps off because they're not going to snap to anything where the um, notches go down this far. Now escape to get out of the, um, of the construction line tool, and now with the line tool, we're going to simply draw in the spar. And what's going to be very easy with construction lines are we can take the snap to intersections because you can snap to intersections of uh, the construction lines. So let me zoom in just for a second on these two areas right here. And sometimes it's easiest to sketch this out on paper so you get an idea what it looks like. Notice the triangle. We're going to left click, left click, left click, left click, and then left click on this intersection over to here, left click on the intersection down to here, left click and see it's just snapping to the intersections, left click again, and so on until we are uh, drawing the complete spar. We have uh, left click, left click, and then what will happen is, let me zoom out a bit, and I'm going to put one more construction line here at the um, end. Hold it. Let's, uh, we're going to zoom to the vertex which is right here, excuse me, snap to the vertex, which is right here for the end of the wing, escape out of that, and just so I can draw a line here from, we'll get rid of the vertex, we'll go back to the intersection, and we'll simply draw it from here to here to have an example. So let me go back to select. And just to do one more set of ribs, I'll put the vertical lines here, and we will put this here and here to do one more set of ribs. Escape to get out of construction. Go back to the line tool, and we will continue to snap to the intersection. Here's an intersection of construction lines here, intersection, 
start, intersection, do the bottom of the notch, and so forth. So you can see by snapping to the construction lines, we'll go ahead here and let me simply remove, clear all the construction lines. You can see how we have created the notches into this full depth 1 16th inch balsa spar and it's the same actions all the way down just using construction lines and snaps to make sure that the notches are completely aligned to the um, ribs in the wing. And then on the next chapter, uh, lesson five, we'll actually take these notches and learn how to apply them to the rib itself. Now the one final thing I want to show before we close in this lesson is just again how easy it is to put in a, um, a 1 8th one eighth inch balsa spar. And so what we're going to do is put in a balsa spar on the top of the wing. And here's just another little different methodology to show you. Uh, again we want to turn off all the snaps and we will select the line tool and let's say we're just going to put in the spar right here. It's very easy just to left click hold down the shift key that we have a perfectly horizontal line. We will use the parallel line to make this 1 8 inch and so we will tab negative 1 over 8 enter and then there's the top spar and again just like we did before uh, we'll just zoom in a little bit to take a look at it and just like we did before we can trim cutting edge, left click, left click to clear that up. Again, split entity just like we did before here. Go back to trim, cutting edge, left click, escape, left click, cutting edge, left click to trim, escape. And you can see how we can clean it up and just easily add another spar. So that's an example of how we take the frame of the wing put in the ribs, put in some spars, use construction lines to build the notches. In the next lesson, we'll see how to apply this information to the wing rib with the rest of the spars and clean up the uh, rest of the wing.